Hello everyone, welcome to Meshi. This video will take you on a comprehensive tour of how to use Meshi. Meshi is your gateway to an innovative world of 3D content creation. With advanced AI technology, Meshi revolutionizes the way you approach image to 3D, text to 3D, and AI 3D texturing. Whether you're an aspiring artist, a seasoned developer, or a curious creator, Meshi offers a seamless platform to bring your ideas to life. You could join Discord to use Meshi or experience it on Meshi web app. First, you need to sign up for an account. You can use your email or Google account for this purpose. Now that you're logged in, you'll see the AI texturing, text to 3D, tutorials, documentation, and community showcase sections on the home page. Within the tutorial section, you will find guided tours of Meshi's web features and how to effectively utilize Meshi. Here, we have the Meshi Help Center where you'll find FAQs, general tips, and prompt guides to facilitate your onboarding process. Feel free to submit a support ticket if you encounter any issues. Let's dive into generating with AI texturing. The entire history of your generations will be displayed at the bottom of the page. Begin by uploading an untextured model, then input the object, style, and even a negative prompt if desired. In Meshi, a basic prompt is to describe an object you want to generate or retexture. This model is a chest, so I will just type chest in the object. Then we move to the style. Try describing the shape, color, size, and other attributes. And we could add more descriptions to improve the quality like 4K, highest quality. A negative prompt is what you don't want to see in the generated result. It's optional. I will just type some commonly used negative prompts. When the generation process is going on, let me explain these two parameters. When enable the original UV, it means using the UV that comes with the original model. When disabled, it means using the UV generated by our AI. It is highly recommended to use the UV of the original model. When enabling generate PBR maps, it generates PBR maps including base color, metallic, roughness, and normal maps. When disabled, it only generates a color map. In the display settings, you can enable the grid or auto-rotate to view the model from any angle you prefer. We support a variety of HDRIs. You could review the different light effects in various environments, like sunset, daylight, or indoor. You can choose to enable the PBR on or off in the texture settings, and you can find different maps at the bottom of the page. To earn more credits, you can choose a plan and make a purchase, or share your generated results with friends to receive credits. Just choose one of your generation and click share with people, and select Twitter to share your amazing result with the world. Once your friend clicks the preview link, 50 free credits will be added to your account. Now let's explore the text to 3D feature. If you're unsure what to generate, try one of the provided examples. Simply provide the desired object and style, shape, color, size, and other attributes of the object you want to generate. Then you'll receive your result in under two minutes. Now this is the sofa I just generated. You can check the model from different views. Just like AI texturing, Text to 3D in generic also support PBR maps. Additionally, Meshi supports voxel style in text to 3D. Let me show you the voxel style sofa. Placing voxel styled items generated by Meshi in Lego games or sandbox games feels seamlessly integrated. Now you are familiar with how to utilize Meshi on web app. Get started and generate your own 3D world. All of your generation history will be conveniently listed here. We're excited to witness more intriguing creations. The Community Showcase is the perfect platform to display your outcomes. You can review the model and prompt directly here. We'll regularly update this space with exceptional artworks, 
and we look forward to seeing your contributions. Thank you for watching. Until next time.